Well, YouTube seems to have changed their all-powerful algorithm again, and now when you simply search for my name, none of my videos show up as the top search results. Well, at least they show that I have a channel up there at the top, but none of the top search results are my videos. But let's see what happens when we search for YouTube darlings, the Young Turks, shall we? Oh, hey, look at the top search results, sir, from the Young Turks channel. <laughs> All of the search results, in fact. What about the liberal host, David Pakman? Oh, gee, look at that. Oh, here's the latest from the David Pakman show and has all of his videos at the top. In fact, his videos are the only videos that show up in the search results. Let's try one more liberal channel, Secular Talk. And of course, it has all of his videos up at the top and even includes the latest. And almost every video in the search results are his videos. Or, in fact, all of them are his videos. Every. Single. One. I've been wondering why the channel hasn't been growing like it should be and the views have been dropping and I've been noticing a lot of comments like this. I don't know if Mark will see this, but I just wanted to point out that I usually search for Mark Dice in the YouTube search bar and for as long as I can remember, his latest video would be the first result. Now the top search results are videos about him, like conspiracy theorist Mark Dice, blah, blah, blah. I don't agree with everything you say, Mark, but YouTube and all these tech companies are really pushing this bleep, and it's complete BS. Ronald says, Mark, it's getting harder and harder to find your videos. I think we've detected a little bias here, YouTube. What a surprise. And YouTube's parent company, Alphabet, just lost $70 billion of their market capitalization because, as their executives admit, they changed the algorithm on YouTube to favor mainstream media channels instead of what people are actually looking for. Their chief financial officer said that changes to the YouTube algorithm caused lower engagement in ad revenue growth on the site. And let's not forget it was just last week that a new study confirms common sense that a handful of left-leaning stories dominate Google's top search results. Here's Democrat Congressman Ted Deutsch from Florida pressuring a YouTube executive in a recent congressional hearing to change the algorithms even more. Our goal is to promote authoritative content to our users. So we have two principles that guide the way here. That's the first one, is we want to provide users with authoritative, trustworthy Downs, information. I, I'm sorry to cut you off. I only have a minute and a half. And I, I, I don't really need to hear what you're trying to provide. I want to know how you're dealing with all these conspiracy theorists on your platform. So the, the first way is by, by demoting low-quality content and promoting more authoritative content. And the second is by providing more transparency for users. So we're introducing boxes that provide factual information at the top of results that have shown themselves to turn up a lot of information that is counterfactual, such as searching for the Earth is flat on YouTube, where you see a lot of... Your response uh, is to put a box saying, nope, the Earth is not flat. Correct. Okay. Oh, I get it now. YouTube thinks I make low quality content, so they're downranking my search results in favor of boosting CNN. Of course, everything liberals say is exactly the opposite of reality. They say they're trying to suppress conspiracy theories on YouTube, which means they're boosting CNN, the conspiracy news network. When the whole Jussie Smollett hoax happened, Media Matters was upset that facts were showing up in the search results on Twitter and on YouTube saying that the Twitter search suggestions promoted it's a right-wing smear <laughs> that it was a hoax, and hoax allegations also neared top of YouTube search results. Maybe somebody should tell Media Matters that Jussie was arrested for the hoax, and now a judge has ordered that the entire case be unsealed. Look at this, they took screenshots in their farious that the search suggestions on Twitter for Smollett were Smollett hoax and Smollett fake. And they posted this screenshot of the search results on YouTube showing that the top two results were from the Today Show and the CBS Morning News perpetuating the hoax and then from TMZ and some other channels also perpetuating the hoax. And then there's one video in there that says that something isn't right with it. They captioned it far right social media accounts in the past have been able to manipulate algorithms on social media platforms like YouTube by acting in coordination to inauthentically game the results. No morons in this case, and in almost every other, the mainstream media accounts, which were artificially inflated to the top, were all wrong. All fake news. The independent, organic YouTubers were right again. 
But Congressman Jerry Nadler says it's just a conspiracy theory that they're suppressing us. Before we delve into these questions, I must first dispense with a completely illegitimate issue, which is the fantasy dreamed up by some conservatives that Google and other online platforms have an anti-conservative bias. As I've said repeatedly, no credible evidence supports this right-wing conspiracy theory. The editor-in-chief of The Verge, a pretty popular online media outlet, last year called for cable companies like Comcast, Verizon, and others to drop Fox News. He later deleted the tweet after growing backlash, but it's saved in the internet archives. Thankfully, President Trump is sounding the alarm about all this madness, and he recently tweeted, quote, When is Twitter going to allow the very popular conservative voices that it has viciously shut down back into the open? It is time. I don't like the name drop, and it's better that some conversations remain private, but I have exchanged DMs on Twitter with some people very, very close to the president. And I just noticed that the chairman of the Federal Communications Commission, Agent Pai, just followed me on Twitter. So just know that there's a lot of people in some high places paying very close attention about what's going on. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and if you haven't already, click the bell next to the subscribe button and select Get All Notifications so you get an alert every morning when I post a new video. Oh, and through Memorial Day, you can get 10% off any one of my shirts at markdice.com if you enter the promo code FANFAVE in the checkout. So click the link in the description below to take you over to the store, or just go to markdice.com, check out some of the awesome shirts over there, and of course, they're all available. And a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie. And don't forget that I write books too, like the true story of fake news, how mainstream media manipulates millions, in paperback on amazon.com. Or download the ebook onto your tablet from any of the major ebook stores.